Hello friends, welcome to my new vlog. It's Huguenot's channel, channel about life in Canada. And yeah, we just checked, checked, uh, checked out from this hotel, beautiful hotel called Marriott. And actually it was pretty nice experience with some pros and cons. So actually you should be able to find this video on my channel. It should be a video about Ottawa. And yeah, that looks like that's it for this experience in Ottawa. We just explored the city. It was pretty funny. Definitely must have to explore, guys. A bunch of places I just shared with you in, in this video. So just don't forget to check it out. And yeah, this video is going to be about Montreal. We just heading to Montreal. We're going to spend like about, I believe, three days in Montreal and visit a bunch of nice places, guys. Some entertainments, uh, some restaurants, cafes I'm going to share with you. I believe I'm going to meet my friend in Montreal and to get some advices from in some insight from, from the local one. So yeah, guys, stay tuned. And yeah, so nice to catch you again on my channel. Bye, guys. See you. Hey guys, just trying to find some shadow. So actually like making some stuff to get some gasoline from Shell. I'm a Shell client. And you know, I'm, actually I should say it's pretty good coffee they have in here. Let me know in, in the comment section, like do you like Tim Hortons coffee? Or like do you like Shell coffee? Or do you like both? You know, I'm, I'm kind of like coffee addicted guy because I'm a web developer and actually I need like at least two coffee a day. If, if I have some kind of difficult mental work is going to be happen, so I need like three at least sometimes. So yeah, this is something I love. And yeah, guys, we just we just uh, still in Ottawa, and we just heading to Cornwall. I believe I'm saying this correctly. If if it's not, so I will leave the link um, under this video. So the whole point to make some short stop in this city in between Ottawa and Montreal. Why? Because you, you can say it's like it's pretty short trip. It's just about two hours and forty minutes, I believe. So because I am traveling with 60 years old guy and usually we need some stops like each uh, two hours or each like one hour and a half. So that's how it's working for us. And we're just trying to keep it simple. And why do we need to rush here? We don't need to rush. And we're just trying to enjoy our trip. And yeah, guys, it's going to be funny. I believe it's going to be funny adventure in this Montreal, a bunch of stuff to explore. And yeah, guys, stay tuned. Hey friends, just making some quick stuff here in Cornwall. Cornwall, I believe. <laughs> I believe it's saying it's correctly. So it's just Tim Hartons in here. And I just got some bowl just for the first time in Tim Hartons. And actually I should say it's pretty good. With rice, with chicken, with slow cooked chicken. So it's pretty good. So the whole idea like to get our legs moving and to get some food, like washroom, every stuff. So that's why it's so useful to, to keep this, you know, like short stuffs. For us, like Tim Hartons working every time, just the best because it's pretty close to highway, and we taken this uh, 401 highway because it's pretty pretty nice, not a bunch of construction. It was, but not a lot. And yeah, just heading to Montreal and on our way. Thank you for tuning into this video this time, guys. Okay, guys, just quick updates here. We just arrived. Just first impressions, like first seconds, is here as usual, like as I'm as I'm doing, like the way this is doing. So this actually, like this is Hyatt Hotel, and so far it's much better than Marriott, what we've been saying in Ottawa. This one you can find a review for this previous hotel you can find in my previous video about Ottawa. And here in Montreal, like uh, so, some interesting moment, like I don't have any parking in here. Actually, I believe I should have something, but it, it, should, it should be like not, um, should be not free. Like it should be busy, you know, guys. So that's why now I need to figure out uh, how to find like another parking. Of course, I am ready. Uh, I found like a couple of options, and now I'm just heading 
to, to explore, to find this parking, to park my car. Maybe if I'm going to park like for a couple of days, maybe, maybe for all this period of time, we're going to stay here like for about three days. And yeah, that's why I'm just going to park my car. But so far, guys, it's so good hotel. I can see like it's just, just another level compared to Marriott. And the price for this one, I believe, uh, we spent how much? 200 with taxes. 200 with taxes. So it's like, it's pretty much affordable price because I believe it's like weekdays, it's not a weekend. So that's why it's possible to stay here in Montreal. Like for this price, even comparing to Ottawa, it's uh, actually cheaper. You know, guys, so yeah, something to keep in mind, guys. I don't mind being right, even when we got in a row. I kind of like, I kind of like making it up as we go. Uh -uh. And ever since the second we when you first caught my eye, I, I knew you were different in all the ways I like. Hey folks, just staying uh, in this park and we just stayed in this hotel, Hayat Hotel. It's pretty good so far, so I just parked my car. I was able to find some Indigo parking uh, spot, like it's like underground parking. I'm gonna share some link to this parking under this video, so don't forget to check this out because it's sometimes it's not useful, it's not easy to find. Because like this one, uh, this one it should be priced, I believe, about 12 bucks per day. And usually it's about 25 uh, or at least 20. So you know guys, so that's kind of how many people in uh, this park, in this park, you know. So my first impressions about this uh, driving experience, like it's pretty tight, you know, like driving in here and a bunch of construction work here. It's not easy to drive, like not easy to figure out how actually these uh, rules, like local rules or something like, it's a bit, it's different. It's definitely different. Like all this driving experience is driven, uh, different. I have a, a pretty solid experience, like, and that's why it's probably easy to navigate in here. Especially after Europe, I'm from Ukraine, from Kyiv. Kyiv is, if you didn't know, it's about six million people. Six million people. So it's uh, not small, definitely. It's not easy to drive. So that's why this this experience is pretty helpful for me to figure out this local uh, driving. So, you know, I just parked my car and I'm not going to drive here in Montreal. I'm going to be usual pedestrian <laughs> so because actually I yeah, decided to just left this car and just enjoy it. because actually we're staying like in downtown you know it's uh, it's uh, like in the heart of this Montreal I believe but I'm, I'm not sure about where located the true heart <laughs> of the city so but I'm about to figure out what the city is about so far it's, it's different it's definitely something different so yeah guys it's going to be interesting it, it's even interesting for myself, you know, what to, what what do I feel like, my first impressions, so we'll see. Hey friends, so I just reached uh, this hotel back and I parked my car. And actually, you know guys, I just want to share my first Im impressions about this city, because first it's actually like the hardest one, you know. So I, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be frank with you because it's like, so far, I don't like it. I don't know why, but you know, I will try to compare with Europe. I'm from Europe and I visited in Europe, like I've been to Czech Republic, Austria, um, Bratislava, it's Slovakia, it's uh, Poland, it's Germany, it's Berlin. So I didn't, I didn't visit like Paris with friends. So it's hard to compare with friends. Maybe it's something similar. I will, I will get this experience in, in France. I don't know. I don't know, but so far, I'm comparing with this part of Europe as well as with Toronto. So we, I, I, the whole this adventure actually we started from Niagara. You know, that's the place where I, I used to live here in Canada. Like I've been living for almost a year in Niagara, and before I had been living for almost for one year in Toronto. You know, guys. 
and that's with what I'm going to compare and so far so first of all it's not good roads in here like uh, this bad bad shape you know bad conditions and uh, it's like the first what you will see in here after Ontario you will see these bad roads you know then like it's not clean like at all <laughs> like, I just I just was walking around here like after this parking like it was about like 18 minutes from my parking to my hotel to my hotel and it wasn't clean like at all and a bunch of weird people like I, I'm not saying it's not like a nuts people like in Toronto you know like they in Toronto you, you can just uh, by taking like street car you may like meet a bunch of people just screaming just next to you in, inside of this uh, uh, st street car you know guys it's pretty weird experience but here like a bunch of just weird people maybe they just different <laughs> I don't know guys I, I don't want to be too negative you know but it's like what I feel you know and I'm trying to be honest with you yeah, a bunch of your people it's not clean parent to Toronto it doesn't feel safe and I don't know I don't know why guys so this like maybe it's just because of downtown because usually downtown it's not the best place in this kind of city you know like Toronto like Montreal like a bunch of Americans people like North Americans or I believe the same you should, should you should be getting in US so, but this is just first impressions. We'll see how it's going to be maybe replaced in like tomorrow and we'll see. We, actually, we're trying to stay positive every time and almost every, every city what I saw so far, it was about positive impressions, you know, positive feelings and positive experience. But I don't know how it's going to look like in here, but architecture just awesome. It's lovely. It's definitely, um, it's definitely something to explore. So yeah, guys, stay tuned and we'll see how it's going to be looks like in the nearest future. So guys, just for the history, this is May 7th and it's like 7.30 p.m. So it's actually almost like a sunset. So that's why it's pretty dark. Footage is going to be happening here. So not sure where exactly I'm staying right now, but we just right after this Quesada bar and burritos. Like, and I should say it's pretty decent place to visit. It's because I love, I like Mexican food guy. I, I love this, I don't know why, but it's such a good food for me, like, it's, uh, like, amazing. And yeah, this was pretty good, it, ni nice price, but I didn't get this price for burritos. I mean, I didn't get the size for burritos, it was too small for me. It was a regular one, and it was too small for me. Maybe I should buy, like, the large one, because I'm a huge guy, <laughs> so for me, like, it's, uh, yeah, I, I, need, I need more food. But it was delicious, it was nice. And yeah, guys, so... Just check this out, this place. Oh yeah, friend, this is going to be our first evening here in Montreal. I'm first of all time in my life in French-speaking environment. Like, it's something new for me. But my wife actually, like, uh, she's French speaker as well. Like, she's speaking French, Poland, uh, English, Ukrainian, Russian. So, <laughs> yeah, she definitely can speak a lot of languages. But it's not easy to handle this local French accent, you know. It's some, something different even for my, for my wife. But yeah, guys, this is just so far, it's absolutely different experience. So guys, yeah, it's definitely like a couple of force about this experience, about first impressions, like for, from Montreal. It doesn't feel safe, you know, like it's, uh, I don't know why, but first of all, I'm in Canada here, I don't feel like extremely safe, you know, 
as as I, as it used to be here in Canada. Like usually it's like in downtown in Toronto. Yeah, it's it's happening something like some something criminal stuff, criminal stuff. But actually in here it's something different. I can't explain why, but I can see a bunch of weird people around me, and it's just it just doesn't feel safe. And you know, I just left my car in underground parking uh, called Indigo. It's like this brand for parking. And so what I found this review on Google Maps. So it's like my my car is like a good chance to to be stolen here or just broken. So that's kind of my small concern about this. On the surface, I look fine. My brain feels heavy, my traumatized mind. And I'm so tired, I can't feel my eyes. Whoa, oh, whoa, oh. I'm petty, but I know how to lie. I feel feelings that I can't describe. I'm not breathing, but I'm still alive. Whoa, oh. So, friends, by staying in here, just close to this type of architecture buildings actually I can say now it's much much better guys that's exactly what I was looking for it's much more similar what we used to see in Europe like it's actually like felt even like in Rome where actually I used to be in Italy in Rome and Rome is one of my favorite place so far by the way and it's actually it's good this is a bit of old Montreal Guys, just check this out, this Italian sunset. I'm not sure if, it goes, if it's possible to catch. This is something insanely beautiful, guys, insanely. Okay guys, I see this like city start driving driving me crazy because it's like you know like so such a mixed blend in my head right now like after all this what I just saw like you just pulled uh, Montreal just so close to, to downtown actually you know like I'm staying like you can see like just behind me all this everything you know after this I should say like it's extremely beautiful city with beautiful people I don't know like this first evening in here and such a different emotions in my head this blend of different emotions guys so how it's possible to combine this everything in this city in Montreal so so far I should say it's a lovely experience it's a lovely place to explore and it's definitely feel like like in Europe
I confess I'm asking all the questions But then I question them Like what's the point of living existing When you can't see your God in flesh I'm looking for the answers They say to pray instead I think I'll find them one day But with the helping hand I know that it's not easy But I believe I will Yeah, I'll get over all my fears And really conquer everything I think I'll be alright Cause I'm not giving up I'm not giving up yet I feel that it's my time Guys, uh, I don't know why, but we've got just so wild aller allergy in here. The same for my wife and, and myself, but actually I'm not an allergy guy. Like, it's uh, extremely rare happening with me. But here, in old in old Montreal, I don't know why, but it's just, just happened with us. So that's why my eyes uh, could be like red and I, I, I could be sneezing. So actually, like, I'm staying this, in the gym, in this hotel, and right next to pool. Well, this is something like a lounge zone here, just in between of this pool and this gym. So after a good session, uh, like a um, stretching session, I'm just gonna grab my, my wife with my son, uh, who's actually just like swimming in this in the pool. I don't like swimming in the pool, I like like open water. So yeah, I didn't feel myself doing the stretching because I believe that's not what you what you're looking for in this video, watching how men is doing some stretches, or you want to see it. So yeah guys, I'm wrapping up this day first in here in Montreal. It was such a different experience from this weird downtown to this whole, this old Montreal, which actually I was kind of love, you know, guys. It was such a good experience. And yeah, that's it for today. Subscribe to my channel. I'm going to create a bunch more interesting videos. Give me a thumbs up and don't forget to see another video because it's going to be like separated. So I will try to catch you in the next one. And yeah, guys, never stop being explorer. This is you can all channel and you can all bye bye. Peace out.